The voting's almost done. The excitement of election night is about to begin. Push that pendulum across. Election night. It's the and biggest news operation the BBC the ever mounts. But on election night, the real story won't be in the studio at all. It will be with you in thousands of anonymous leisure centres and town halls. I watched all the output that the University of Winchester uh, edited together on their website that they did uh, an election night programme live with outside broadcasts on Sky. I just thought it was extraordinary. Southampton Romsey uh, will not be uh, counted here, unfortunately. I'd like to say we're going to go pass over to one of our outside broadcast units right now. We're going up to Buckingham, the constituency where Nigel Farage obviously had his plane crash earlier today and John Burko, the speaker, was standing. Kayleigh, let's go over to Buckingham. The scene's clear from our snapshot poll. I know how you know, difficult it is to keep an election night programme going for hours and hours and hours overnight, even with all the resources the BBC uh, can throw at these things. So to manage to keep going and keep journalism sharp and the, the, the high level of, uh, of both technical and presentational sophistication I saw was, was, was really admirable. Two o'clock in the morning and the elections are just going to keep coming in. Declarations, what are we expecting in the next hour? Bristol will announce their results. Cardiff will... Well, what an hour it's been for the Conservatives. They've taken Battersea. It's a huge win for them. They've taken it with a swing of... I've never been able to see on air a, an eight-hour live television programme done by students... Um, of this kind of quality. I uh, watch a lot of election coverage, a lot of news coverage, and have very rarely seen um, eight-hour programmes put together by students uh, covering live events. That is a marathon for any broadcaster with huge amounts of equipment. And um, what they achieved, I thought, was fantastic. We can see now the door to the leisure centre where the count in Whitney is taking place. And here's David Cameron now, uh, joined by his wife Samantha. He I think it was. I think the quality of presenting was excellent all round. I think that um, they faced huge obstacles, and they faced uh, they, they 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 took on themselves the task of reporting hundreds of seats and what the results were all over the country. Uh, they couldn't possibly know the background history of all of them. Uh, they were putting out real results live as they came in um, with great authority. Three games so far in the last few minutes. Uh, Labour have just held and holding, you know, studio discussions together and linking in live into uh, film, TV inserts with great aplomb. I thought. Strike at the heart of the Labour support. Um, that kind of comment could maybe have become kind of yesterday's news. You know, that is proper journalism. It's as proper as anything the BBC is doing. It's exactly the same thing as the BBC was doing, interviewing politicians on site. And I think that as you go for as they will go forward in their careers, they will really take that with them. And as other journalists possibly interview them uh, for jobs along the way, that will give them very, very real uh, experience to draw upon and explain what they've been doing and how they've honed their skills. All eyes at the moment on this, dare I say, bright morning. To be able here. to cope with all the unpredictabilities of an election night and uh, the sheer length of time you've got to keep going and dealing with all that sort of thing uh, was was is astonishing in its ambition and and and, and very very successful um, in its execution. And to have been able to mount this kind of program is a huge technical uh, achievement. Is a huge journalistic achievement, and. I hope they enjoyed it and I cannot imagine that it won't make them uh, sound and be able to draw upon those experiences that they've had as, as frontline journalism. Our reporter is absolutely ecstatic down there. <laughs> that is the report that you all wanted. That is it. 5.32 in the morning in Winchester. Good from morning. all of us here at Winchester News Online. Good night.